A capacitor is a device that stores electrical charge. It consists of two conducting plates separated by an insulating material that might be air or glass. Initially, the capacitor is connected to a battery with zero volts, making it like a wire that shorts the two plates together. As we increase the battery voltage, charge flows from the battery onto the plates of the capacitor, with positive charge on the top plate, negative charge on the bottom plate. Note that no current actually flows through the capacitor because of the insulator between it. If we decrease the separation of the plates, or make the plates bigger, we see that the capacitor is capable of storing more charge. If we now disconnect the capacitor from the battery, we see that it holds the charge, with opposite charges attracting, keeping them on the plates. And if we look at the voltage across the capacitor, we see that it's got the full battery voltage. If we now uh, take the battery voltage back down to zero and reconnect the capacitor uh, to the battery, charge flows off the plates and the capacitor is discharged. Now we'll take a look at the flow of current on and off a capacitor and consider how long it takes to charge or discharge it as a function of the size of a resistor and a capacitor. So here we have a circuit that has a 10 microfarad capacitor connected through a couple of switches and resistors to the power supply and ground. We have one switch um, connected to a 1K uh, resistor up to the positive supply and another switch um, that, that connects um, the top plate of the capacitor through a 1K resistor to ground. This bottom switch is initially closed um, so the capacitor is discharged. At the bottom of the screen um, we have a graph of the voltage V out which is the voltage across the capacitor. So initially the capacitor is discharged and now if we close the top switch We'll watch the flow of current onto the capacitor and the voltage across the capacitor rises. Eventually, when the voltage gets all the way up to around 5 volts, the flow of current stops and the capacitor is fully charged up. If we then open that switch, um, the voltage across the capacitor stays at 5 volts, and then if we close the bottom switch, the capacitor discharges down to ground. Um, there's a flow of current until it gets to ground and then the flow of current essentially stops. I'm going to pause the simulation here and we'll take a look at what happens if we um, want to change the uh, value of the resistor. So let's change the this pull-up resistor from 1 kilo ohm and make it 2 kilo ohm so it's twice as big. All right. So we'll restart the simulation, and now we'll see when we close the top switch, it charges much more slowly. So see the difference in uh, steepness compared to the first time. So we'll let it uh, charge all the way up, and then uh, we'll open that top switch so the capacitor keeps its charge, and then discharge it again. So that's through a 1K resistor. Okay, now we'll pause the simulation again and look at what happens if we change the size of the capacitor. So we'll change it from a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor all the way down to a much smaller uh, 1 microfarad capacitor. We'll uh, open this switch and then start the simulation again and when we close the top switch, watch how much faster it charges. So the slope is much steeper. So in short, the bigger the resistance or the bigger the capacitance, the longer it takes to charge or discharge the capacitor.